Monday worshiping, Monday uh, Monday workout. Go make a drink of protein shake. I used to be scattered minded and decisive. And I used to say, well, that's the Libra in me. I used to allow my supposedly zodiac sign to tell me who I am or what I am. Um, she just a couple months about the birth chart reading. <laughs> I was like, I can't read all that foolishness. That is um, serving other gods, idolatry. Um, I knew that I got rid of that stuff some, some, some while back, but it's just amazing how the pastor spoke about this uh, last night, about um, the different levels of witchcraft and things of that sort. And I've said this before, um, a lot of people are bewitching themselves with all that negative talk or, you know, I used to say this. I'm so poor, broke, and ugly. I used to say that, but I used to say it jokingly. But I said it enough until that was a curse that I had put on myself. And to now being on this side of the fence, I had to go back and repent from those word curses I spoke over my life. And also, and I remember a person, even if I remember a person that I said something negative about, um, in my own one-on-one, uh, -on -one, my own personal time with God, I repent of those exact words that I spoke over someone else. You know, I, I said this before again. I said this before. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it again. The worst kind of witch is a person that does not know that they are a witch. I didn't know I was operating in um, witchcraft, bewitching people with gossiping, Right. Um, I remember uh, one of my good girlfriends I was telling, I had just met her. So she was biased. She didn't know um, any anyone. This is when I was really going through um, all of the witchcraft with, um, I'm thinking that like I'm having allergy symptoms, but it was no allergies. All the allergy panels coming back negative. Or when I was having a high blood pressure, I'm in a hospital, admit it because they can't release me, but um, the numbers are high. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be dead, stroked out on the table, but the MRI is showing nothing, right? Um, I didn't know all that stuff was spiritual. I didn't know it was all witchcraft or whatever. But um, yes, I will always talk about witchcraft because that is my story. That is my testimony. That is my testimony. So many people, like a lot of the, um, we call them um, basis, right? We call them bases in Miami, crackheads, homeless people, whatever you want to call it. But a lot of those people, um, the devil had oppressed them too. And for whatever reason, or they just haven't repented of their sins, or they just haven't went and had a conversation with God, that they haven't been able to come from the oppression that the enemy had in, in people or in the enemy agents had put on those people lives so I talk about that stuff because of way I just was a year ago literally one year ago forget two years ago I'm talking about literally one year ago someone that was very adventurous um someone that was a, 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 a um, I never, I was never a planner, very adventurous, someone who lived life to the fullest, someone who did not care about the opinions of others, someone that took care of many people, families, big paid bills, so much that I've done. I've lived a life that my experiences, um, through life, I lived a life that some people, couldn't even probably fathom, um, good and bad, right? And and to know how I lived my life, the type of person that I was, and to know that I was at so low in my life just a year ago, and um, September, I 
think it was September 24th or September 22nd. It was either the 22nd, the 24th, or the 26th of September of 2022. I was going to um, die by suicide because I couldn't take it no more. I couldn't take being in my house and I'm seeing um, things fly by or waking up out my sleep and um, being licked in my ear or these this deep raspy voice in my ear or waking up one day, if I have the courage, I will show you all the bruises and the scratches that I will wake up out my sleep with from fighting in my sleep. You know, um, and to know right now today, I went cold turkey off of that medication. I was on four high blood pressure medications, four high blood pressure medications with an added propanolol because my heart rate was so irregular. Four high blood, and my doctor kept saying, Nicole, I do not feel comfortable with this, Nicole. I do not feel comfortable about this. I do not feel comfortable about this stuff, but that was my life. I had four inhalers. No, three inhalers. They tried to tell me I had asthma. Ma'am, I am over 40. What the hell are you talking about? I don't have no damn asthma. They didn't know what was going on. I sure enough didn't know. It was all spiritual. So I get... Because I felt like... And it's something that I'm dealing with. Because I felt like I should have known. Because of the life I used to live... How did I not know that witchcraft was a thing? How did I not know that people that I was I was literally sitting in front of? I'm sitting in front of people and these people were bewitching me. And I gave them all. I gave them everything that they needed because I was an oversharer, people pleaser. Because I didn't know who I was and I was trying to fit in with people, with fucking devil worshippers. I'll never understand that. But I love you. God loves you more. <laughs>